This Friday is International Women's Day, the theme inspiring inclusion, and there's no better way to celebrate ourselves than with the words we use in our own heads and when we look in the mirror. Do you ever think about that when you look in the mirror? Be kind to yourself. And there's no better person to talk about this than breakfast television host and inclusivity advocate, Meredith Shaw. Oh my gosh, Tracy. So Hi. good to have you. Thank you. Thank you for so, having me. So, a few weeks ago, we did a thing. Oh, we did a thing. We did a bit of a thing. Do, <laughs> should we show them what the thing is? I think we should. I mean, I think we should see it ourselves, too. This I is have kind not of a seen big it reveal. yet. No, I know. Same. So here are the photos. Oh, come on. Do you see those? Okay. 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 That is the lead story in the kit and the Toronto Star that we collaborated on for mm -hmm. International Women's Day. It was such a fun photo shoot. You brought me into the photo shoot. So how did this whole collab start? Well, it really uh, started because they were interested in having me do an op-ed piece, The Kit and the Star, about uh, how I talk about my body. Because okay. that was something that was sort of of conversation when I began my role on breakfast television yeah. and I thought you know sure I'd love to do that but what I'd really love to do is expand that conversation because I think the conversations we have about our own bodies really start to get in symphony with others and start to get in power with others when we do it together so I, I really yes. was interested not just in my perspective but I feel like that's the conversation around bodies it's including everyone's perspective and so I knew I wanted you involved <laughs> in this. And uh, luckily, after that text message, you said absolutely. So, yes. Oh, my gosh, for sure. Uh, Tracy Moore and Ann Purnell and Lauren Chan. Yeah. And the four of us got together and, and did our thing that hopefully inspires others to feel seen and feel ready to do theirs. Talk about good energy in that room. And I'll tell you this. I'm happy you made it a whole bunch of different voices because have you ever been in a situation when you're hanging out with a bunch of women and they start dissing themselves? Mm. It sucks the air out of the room because it makes you start thinking about yourself. It's like, oh, am I supposed to be unhappy with who I am? Like, it just, it's nice if we can actually start being kind to ourselves even around groups of other women instead yeah. of making it a sport to tear ourselves down. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? Yes. I mean, we start to get into, that's a clap. Yeah. yeah. It's almost a habit. It's a habit. You know, it's almost something we fall into because yeah. it's comfortable. And yeah. the uncomfortable sometimes is to be on your own team. That's and right. I think the more we start to lean into that, just like anything, we practice it. Yeah. The more we start to practice that, the easier it becomes to fall into that groove. Right. And then that groove becomes the conversation as opposed to the other. Totally. Mm -hmm. Like, you look good today, Meredith. You look amazing today, Tracy. Thank you. <laughs> just sit in the compliment. Just sit in the compliment. Just sit in yeah, it. Yeah, you know what? Don't say, oh, this dress has pockets. Oh, but you know, it's really cheap. <laughs> oh, it's on sale. I got it on sale. I do it, too. Yeah. <laughs> I do it, too. But less than I used to, for sure, because yeah. I'm working on it. So we did a segment last month that really resonated with women all over the world. I've done a lot on this show. I've taken off my makeup, the eyelashes, the whole nine on air. I've taken off all of my clothes to show my shapewear underneath my dress. And then a few weeks ago, we had four other women join me in studio to reveal our weight. Take a listen. <laughs> oh. The thing we all have in common is we are all the same weight. 185 pounds right across the board. Give it up for everyone for showing it all on national TV. Hard. That was hard mm, for me. That, and that was powerful to see. I had to actually um, ask myself, why is that so hard, Tracy? Like, why is that such a big deal? You're pretty comfortable with who you are. What's the big deal about throwing out the number? But mm -hmm. it just shows you how deep-seated all these issues are that we have. And the whole point of the segment was to shift the focus from the numbers on the scale to who we are as people. It's not that important, whatever number comes up. Does it change what I have brought to the show? Does it change how I operate as a mom? Does it change who I am as a daughter? Does it change who I am as a wife? No. no. It's just not a measure. It's We've not been a measure. taught to think that it is. And I think what's so beautiful about that is even people that, you know, you might look to to think, okay, they're confident with this. Yeah. It's kind of great to know, like, that was a bit hard. Because yes. that's also normal. You're not going to just sail off into this land of positivity and okayness with yourself. Right. You're going to come up to those bumps in the road. The biggest thing for me is that the bounce back is quicker. Mm -hmm. So I can have the thought, like, ooh, this is hard. Mm -hmm. But I do it anyway. Yeah. Right? And so years back, I might not have done it anyway. So I think that's the real uh, almost goal. It's not to yeah. just have none of those thoughts. It's to be able to hear them and decide, am I taking that thought on? Or yes. am I saying... 
later. Yeah, we're yeah. Sw we're swimming in toxic waters. You're yeah. never not going to have the thought. Yeah, it's the bounce back. Mm -hmm. I love that. So as I mentioned, really good energy on the day of the shoot. And I wanted to talk a little bit about Anne Purnell, who was there. Lauren Chan, as you mentioned, yes. was there. Anne Purnell was there. Um, and I loved Anne's approach to body language. Listen to this. My body is the vessel that gets me through life. I feel like I've had a really great life so far. And the thing that's gotten me through it is this body. It holds my heart, it holds my brain, it holds every part of me. And she might not fit into someone's standard of beauty, but to me, the inside is the thing that really makes the outside shine. So I love my body. <laughs> I love it! I love She's her so, so much. She's so good. I think she is such a light, you know. Yeah. I, I think it was really cool too to come together, you know, cross media companies too, totally. um, which I think is something that you know doesn't happen uh, sort of often enough. But she is it. I just love her. If I could just spend the rest of my life hanging out with women with that level of comfort in yeah. who they are and their bodies, it would be it would be so much easier, I think, to stay in that space. Yeah, because there was so a comfort. Joyful. There was a comfort there. No yes. one, no one was sort of fussy or like, oh, I don't know about this. I didn't suck in. I'm always sucking yeah. in. You <laughs> yeah. know, the older I get, the more a little hang out, <laughs> yeah, and I'm girl. kind of happy about yeah. that. Um, and the, in, the inner monologue was very positive for that whole shoot. How did you feel at that shoot? I Just so excited about what's to come, yeah. truly. Because I think the team at the Kit and the Star, they assembled such an incredible group of women mm -hmm. uh, behind the scenes. And, you know, Aaron Layden, the photographer, and the incredible stylist. And when you put that kind of collective together... You, you move the needle. You change yeah. what's going on. And, and not only change outwardly for people watching, but us too on that set. I was changed yes. that day. Um, I was reinforced. There was more proof that this is true and we can exist in different bodies and shine. And I think those types of reinforcements for both the people in it and watching mm -hmm. it, it's, uh, it's so important and it's magic. It yeah. is magic. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, looking at you during that shoot, I was like, oh, yeah, she's a model. <laughs> the way you move your body. I was like, she's a model. So well, I know she... you was a TV host and a radio host, but yeah. the way you were like. Well, she's a little out of practice, but, you no, know, it was we like don't forget. The right? eyes, it was giving. It was just, it was so beautiful well, to watch. Well, excuse me, I was watching you too, girl. I was seeing you get down in that cat suit. That's I was right. like, oh, we're not that uncomfortable. We're I good. wanted to walk home with that, but yeah. I know the Uber driver would have looked at me kind of funny. The, you know, you don't all have to do a photo shoot at home, but start with the exercise of talking to yourself nicer in the mirror. I think that's something we can all do every day. For sure. And get into the habit of being kind to yourself. Yeah, and just expose yourself to other ways of thinking and other people. Yeah. People who are kind of occupying the space that you want to. I mean, that's the really can be the beautiful thing uh, about social media is to really find the people that that feed that message back to you. Mm. I'm just so excited for for this magic to come out with with all four of us together. And so much more magic to come. Yes, Meredith cool. Shaw, yes, everyone. Thank you. thank you for keeping the conversation going. We love that. You. you can check out all the kit and the Toronto Star collaboration on International Women's Day.